Okay, here's the unboxing of my Phillips Nerf Coat Shaver 9400. Comes in a pretty nice box, so it would be great for a gift. Comes with the travel carry case, as usual. What's that? <laughs> it's got a little flip up trimmer I can see already. And power cord, charging cord, it comes with a little brush. Here's the manuals. So, it looks like there's no trimmer adjustment. I will go through the manual and charge it. Actually, I'm going to plug it in for a charge right now. Go through the manual and see if I can find where it takes. It shows how long it takes to charge. And I will be right back. Okay, it does show two bars, so I'm pretty sure it's got enough for at least one shave. So here goes the live shave. You can tell right away it's got quite a bit of flexibility there. Uh, first pass was pretty clean. I'm surprised. I'm not a big fan of rotary, rotary shavers, but this is the one of the latest series. It's a series nine, so even though the box says 9400 or whatever, it's still part of the series nine shaver. So it's definitely one of the updated ones. did say to move in circular motions to get the hairs going in all different directions, so that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm just gonna shave half my face on camera so I don't torture you guys too long of shaving, but uh, the initial pass was pretty pretty clean. Uh, I think with mo any electric shaver, you're probably gonna have to go over it and fill for uh, tiny mist parts and just pull your skin tight and run your shaver across those, but um, I don't know. I didn't really pull up my hairs, but it definitely missed some on my lips, so I'm not 
thoroughly impressed with it, especially for the price. It was $135 and didn't even come with the the cleaner. So uh, right away, I, I'm going to say if you're going to spend this kind of money on a razor, I would definitely go with the uh, Braun Series 9 instead versus the Philips Norelco Series 9. But uh, I'm not a fan of rotary shavers anyways, and uh, they just missed too many hairs. So now I'm going to have to go back over it, and it takes forever. But I'll see how stubborn these hairs on my lip are real quick. Yeah, I just like the foil shavers because you can really bear down with them. This one just... Even when I push hard, I don't just really don't feel it like grabbing more hair when I push down. So my upper lips being stubborn. Like hair on my cheek, it's really smooth because you can you have that whole area to move into circular motion. Then once you get into tighter spaces, like up, especially on my upper lip, up around my nose, this rotary shaver just I mean there's just uh not as much point of contact. With the foil shaver, it's like a straight line across, so you could just go up and down like that and you're still gonna have a whole line of contact across the skin this one's just really really stubborn let me try one more time at the very edge here but did okay when I used the very edge there you just really have to get up in here and just use the edge of one of these little circles right under your nose or in the, the tight spots but um, even around my ears and stuff though there's still just too much of a gap from the edge so I just really don't like it as far as uh, it's good it definitely shaves smooth but it takes some work uh, too much work in my opinion um, it does have this trimmer but obviously that's not gonna shave as close as the uh, rotary blades but um it's worth it's definitely one of the best rotary shavers out there if you like rotary shavers i'd definitely buy it if you're absolutely against foil razors but uh i myself i prefer a uh, foil razor so um this shaver definitely gets the job done but i would definitely go with the uh, bronze series 9 foil razor instead